I bought another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figure. Um, I couldn't resist Scumbug. Uh, she, because it is a she, uh, is is gross. And uh, yeah, I just, I couldn't pass up this grossness. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this uh, lovely lady out of the pack. So Scumbug is now my second favorite figure of the TMT TMNT line now uh, because... One, she's adorable. Two, she's super asymmetrical. Like, her her claws are different sizes. Her legs are different lengths. It's super odd. So she has to stand, like, with, like, a straight leg almost here. And then with a bent leg on one side. It's, it's super weird. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, she has a ball-jointed head, uh, which is... Is is just enough, you know. Look a little left, look a little right, look a little up, look a little down. Not too much, not too little. Well, maybe. Um, she has <laughs> hinge and twists at the top at her uh, shoulders. No elbow. Twists at her pincers. Um, nothing on her extra arms. She has those weird uh, hip joints that go up into her and 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 do that. And you're gonna twist them around and stuff like that. That's that's wonderful. She has uh, knee bends, but it doesn't amount to much since she has weird, weird length legs, and you have to pose them kind of odd because she is she's super asymmetrical. But but I like that. And then also, let me see. Nope, didn't twist there. She also has where her uh, <coughs> what is that? Uh, her her wing covers open and close, and then you can see that that weird that weird scumbug butt. It's, it's technically there, but those open up to reveal the holes for her actual wings. And we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, her other smaller accessories are a, uh, a, a loving picture of a uh, master splinter. Um, and then also vomit, vomit. I love it. It goes in here. <coughs> it's, it's super gross. It's adorable. This is. This is the gross stuff that I love. This is, this makes it worth it. Uh, but uh, the final thing, uh, actually, you know what? Let me let me do one scale thing here. So here is here is Scumbug, my second favorite fig figure, and here is my first favorite figure of this line. It's the best one of the line, and it's massive compared to Scumbug. Just massive, tons of articulation. Yeah. You gotta get this raging Cajun if you know what's good for you. She's a wonderful figure too. But uh Leatherhead aside, Scumbug comes with wings that are bigger than her. So let's just see see how this looks and how these go in real quick. And if they're uh easily removable, because I, I hope they are. I hope they are. I hope this isn't a permanent thing. But good god, that's those are some gross wings. <laughs> you get one one gross flight stand out of here uh and you're good scumbug scumbug is fun scumbug is worth a pickup uh <laughs> if you find it full price grab her um i haven't seen a ton of the the second wave of these in the my store anyway uh i saw genghis frog i might pick up genghis frog genghis frog looks bigger than this than this scumbug but we we will see if I pick him up, but like I am glad I grabbed Scumbug. It's just she's just the right amount of gross, and you know, Splinter needs a love interest. I'm I'm probably gonna try to pick up a Splinter too. I can't remember if he comes with a picture of Scumbug because that would be hilarious too. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. So uh, this has been Billy Beige. Uh, find find the one that you love and stick with him. See you in the next video.